Hello. We're doing an introduction to matrices uh, for this lesson. And a lot of students get confused with uh, matrices. I mean, they know how to do them, but they don't really know what's going on. And basically, a matrix, uh, that singular matrices is plural. A matrix is basically a system of information, data of information. It can be used with equations. It can be used with a lot of aspects, actually. And it's quite fascinating. Uh, it's invented to try to help solve things quicker. And sometimes it works that way and sometimes it doesn't. But this is an introduction to matrices. If you end up wanting to take a class uh, specifically on matrix or matrices, uh, there's a class called linear algebra that you would take that's uh, after your calculus sequence. But that's going a little too far ahead. Let's just deal with what we got. So I've got this example right here where I'm shopping for a car. I'm shopping for a Toyota and a Honda. I just picked two cars arbitrarily. And I uh, listed the price. One is $18,000 and one is $22,000. Uh, this stands for horsepower, not hit points for those role-playing fanatics. I can't believe I just said that. Uh, this one is 150 horsepower, and this one is 200 horsepower. And the fuel economy, this one is 33 miles per gallon, and this one comes out to 30 miles per gallon, which is actually pretty typical. When you have a car of higher horsepower, you generally tend to sacrifice fuel economy and vice versa. And what you want to do is you want to make an informed decision about what you're going to buy. Now, what you can do is you can actually... Uh, put up uh, more than these two cars. You can put up uh, you know, eight or nine cars and compare them very easily and you can do that in matrix format and I'll show you how you do that. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a two by three matrix. Uh, before you get a little confused at that, just let me show you what you do. You take this information and you put it in brackets. Okay. So we're going to put 18,000 150 33, this one is 30, 220, oops, excuse me, that's 200, and that's 22,000. Now, if I had eight or nine cars, I could look at it very quickly and I could decide from this information very quickly, ascertain uh, which, which car I would want to buy. That's pretty much all there is to it. That, that's what a matrix does. If you ever saw the movie The Matrix, it's a bunch of little numbers. It's just a system of information. Uh, sometimes it can be used as binary code, sometimes you can solve linear equations with it. It's actually quite fascinating. Uh, I'm not going to continue with that though. Let me continue with the matrix itself. Now this matrix is separated into something called rows and columns. And basically a row goes from left to right and a column goes up and down. And the way that I always memorize it was this. When I think about Roman columns, columns are something that are built vertically. So a column goes like this, so thus a row goes like that. Now if your teacher's ever handing out things, they usually say, I'm going to hand it out to rows. No, rows actually go side to side. Columns go up and down. So what happens is there's two different rows and there's three columns. So we call this a two by three matrix. Uh, if there were four rows, it would be four by whichever it is. Uh, if there were four rows and three columns, it would be four by three. But this is two rows, three columns. So it's a two by three matrix. Now each number inside here is called an element. So uh, each one's a row, each number itself is called an element of a matrix. And that's pretty much all you really need to know in order to first starting, uh, in order to first understand how to do a matrix. You have to know what the element is, what the dimension of a matrix is. So the dimension is two by three. Uh, each element, there's six elements. That's pretty much it. You know, nothing terribly fascinating about that, but it's really cool. Uh, when you really start to work with the meat and potatoes. So I got another example right here. And this is one that usually throws students off because they just find it intimidating no matter what. Uh, some students are sold that they can do matrices or matrix uh, properties, operations, etc. And some just don't believe they can. And if you just build up the confidence, it's not too bad. So I've got this uh, problem where I've got this matrix equal to this matrix. Now this is a two by one matrix. This is a two by one. It's two because there's two rows, one column. And this one is two rows, one column. So it's a two by one matrix equal to a two by one matrix. Nothing really big here. Well, what exactly do I do? I'll show you. It's actually not difficult at all. X plus four equals nine. Two Y equals twelve. Solve for X and one. That's it. Yeah, that's it. X equals 
y equals 6. And if you don't believe me, try it. Substitute this 5 in. What's 5 plus 4? 9. 9 equals 9. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 equals 12. This matrix is equal to this matrix. That's uh, a good introduction. We're going to start working with operations and see how that goes. But as you can see, that's a very simple problem. And that's just kind of a simple uh, categorization of it. We're going to be adding, subtracting, and multiplying matrices, which is pretty fascinating. Students don't like multiplying matrices, but eh, not so bad. We'll see how that goes. But for right now, I hope that's helpful. Have a good day. Goodbye.